All right, welcome back, everybody. Retailer Target just out with its numbers. It looks like Target is coming in with adjusted numbers of $1.47 a share. That is seven cents better than the street had been expecting. Revenue also coming in above expectations. And if you look at the comp store sales, uh, these are some pretty impressive numbers, too. Comp sales overall were up 6.5%. Target says that's the best that they've seen in terms of comps in 13 years. If you break that down, that's a comp store sales number of 4.9%, which is better than the street had been anticipating at 4% growth. That's very strong comp store sales. Digital sales were up 41%. That comes uh, compared to 32% growth over a year ago. So you're continuing to see uh, comps at the digital level rise, which is pretty impressive. Generally, when you get to bigger numbers, you start to see smaller comps on some of those things. The company also saying that for the back half of 2018, it's raising its outlook for both comparable sales and for earnings per share. The midpoint of their third quarter earnings per guidance range that they're giving now, $1 to $1.20, represents growth of more than 20% with last year. Strong numbers pretty much across the board. And I would say that this is a similar situation to what we saw with Walmart. Again, investments that have paid off over time. Brian Cornell has been there for several years now making investments, trying to put these things to work and, and beef up a lot of the offerings that they have. Um, that partnership that they have with Shipped, where you can order things that the stores fulfill, order things online that the stores fulfill. Um, things like delivery, where uh, if you show up, you can order online and then they'll let you pick, show up in the, in the parking lot to pick it up. Some of those issues along those lines are things that that successful retailers have been doing. Check out those shares. They're up by more than 6%. You know, in Walmart Cross, I know that there's some um, analysts concerned that those gains were made at the expense of some other retailers. Mm -hmm. And so could Target have seen, even though there, the expectation was widely a strong quarter, at the margins even, could Target have given up some share to Mar Walmart in order for Walmart to have such uh, an unbelievable right. quarter, and here we are actually target performing on its own. Yeah, it seems it's not zero sum right now. Yeah. Obviously, it seems the pie is growing a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting that this move in the pre-market is happening. It's getting the stock above the 2015 highs. Huh. I think the bar was pretty high for a good number yeah, here. I think I mean, so the, too. The, yeah. the, the stock had rallied uh, relatively well, and they were good enough, even on top of the high expectations so far, to have this uh, pretty good reflex response. You know, I'd also note Dollar General making new highs. I mean, the consumer I was just on Main Street's doing all okay. All this news yeah. is just reinforcing this the optimism that I am seeing and then hearing it from companies about how the consumer is looking heading into the, you know, into the second half of the year and into the an all important holiday, you know, shopping season. The, the economy has a lot of momentum and I think that that's really encouraging. That continues to be the consistent theme that we hear. I, I would say though there are winners and losers in retail even though we thought we had kind of shaken some of that out in the last couple of years. This earnings season, once again, has proven that you're going to have very high expectations. It's going to be tough to jump over them. Not every one of the retailers are going to be able to do that. So even with a strong consumer, uh, you have to have strong management.